Hello, Sankam students. I'm Dr. Shmala Khan, and today I would be giving you a demo session for biology O levels. And for that, I would be starting with my intro. So, as I told you before, my name is Dr. Shmala Khan. I graduated from the city school in 2006 and scored uh, five A's in biochemistry, Urdu, Samyat, Back Studies, and Chemistry. And uh, they were a static uh, at, back at the days, it was A+. Plus. I wanted to pursue medical field, so because of the equivalent certificate, so I decided to go with the intermediate board, Hyderabad, in 2008. And so I took admission in Beacon House, and there I scored 81%, that is even great in my FSC. Then I started to prepare for MCAT and I scored with the 75% of my aggregate and did my dentistry from Dow Medical College, Karachi. There, from there, I graduated in 2013. Uh, while I was in my house job, I had a bit of uh, free time, so I started to give tuitions and slowly I gained a good number of students. And uh, the students were mostly from uh, O levels, uh, science field and biology, especially, and uh, intermediate and FSC, metric and FSC. And uh, most of the students scored uh, in O levels was A static in biology and chemistry under my supervision. After my house job, uh, PMDC uh, took some time, that is a medical license to be issued. So I availed that time and started teaching in few of the coaching centers near my uh, locality. Although it was for a very short period of time, but still I availed my time and the experience was really incredible. And uh, from that time, from 2017, I joined a medical private university. And uh, for instance, first, five years, I am dealing with first year BDS students. I am teaching them the subject of biochemistry and in the evening, I run my own clinic. So that was my uh, really short intro. Let's come back uh, to what, are I am, what I am going to discuss, discuss at my demo session. Uh, the topic that I choose was cell division. As I know, uh, being uh, the first demo session, this might be a really complicated topic. But for me, is, uh, teaching is a challenge to make it easier for every soul. And if I can make it easier for you guys and enjoyable as well, you won't feel bored or exhausted after studying or after taking my lectures. So let's begin with. Uh, what would be the learning objective or after this lecture, what you be, would be able to understand? You would be able to understand what the cell division is and the type of cell division, the significant difference between meiosis and mitosis. What's the significance of cell division? What happens to the parent cell after the divisions take place? And interesting facts about cell division. And then I would give you a small student review assessment, which would be having answers this time, but next time I hope you would be able to do it by your own. Okay, now, as you know, uh, the cell division, the cell itself was discovered. The something that is made by men is invented and something that pre-existed is known by men is discovered. So Hugo von Mahl, a German botanist, was the one who discovered cell division. He, under the higher resolutions of microscopes, saw a thread-like structures which are separating and leading to the separation of cells. Every cell have a lifespan. Uska ek muddat hoti hai, jiske baad cell jo hota hai, wo rupture ho jata hai, khatam ho jata hai. So cell hits its maturity and have to be replaced by new cell division, uh, by new cells, and uh, this process is known as cell division. As we look into the simpler organisms like fungi, bacteria, the uh, single cell amoebas, so they need cell division, and uh, but in a very lesser form. 
and it is not so complicated. The more complex the organism gets, the cell division becomes more complex. The organelle responsible for cell division is nucleus. Okay, now coming back, uh, now coming to the topic that we know why the cell needs its division because when it hits its maturity life, it has to divide and give you the new cell. Now there are type of cell division. First is mitosis and then is meiosis. Now mitosis, whereas is not very complicated cell division, and in lecture, I will try to cover it so that you can understand it. Mitosis is the cell division which takes place in your somatic cells. All the body cells are known as your somatic cells. And they give you, after division, two diploid daughter cells. Diploid is the number of the chromosomes, like uh, one cell would have 24 chromosomes in it. And after division as well into two cells, it will have the same number of chromosomes. That is 46, 46. So it will give you two daughter cells. It have the stages like first is the interphase. Interphase is the phase in which the cell prepare itself for division. The chromatin would start to lose and the thread-like structures would appear and the poles will appear. And the prophase, the chromosomes are distinct apart. Uh, metaphase may poles say that a field they have to get aligned. Anaphase is the pole attracting the chromosome towards it and dividing the cellular membrane. Okay, then telophase comes, telophase is where two of your daughter cells meet. I'm telling you just uh, the precise uh, process of it uh, so that I can make it really short and well understandable as well. Before mitosis, the cell have to prepare, as I told, it was the, the, uh, from the interface, the mitosis process, the uh, prophase process is smaller, and it does not need crossing over of the chromosomes. Meta, uh, mitosis may metaphase hota hai, metaphase to hota hai, us may independent assortment ki zarurat nahi hoti hai, thik hai? Or is me uh meiosis may independent assortment ki zarurat hoti hai. And a phase may chromatids to hote hai because separate ho jate hai on the pole side chale jate hai. The process that separate and duplicate the genetic material carried in the nucleus of the parent cell and give you the two identical cells is the stage of tel uh, telophase. During the telophase, the nuclear membrane forms around each of the chromosomes. Here, nuclear membrane bhi aajayegi, aur jiya ki cell membrane bhi jo hogi, wo as that the divide hona shuru ho jayegi. So, coming back to meiosis, meiosis is much more complex uh, process because it takes place none other than your sexual cells, the gametes. It gives you our four daughter cells and it have total of the eight phases like it would have prophase one prophase two metaphase one metaphase two anaphase one anaphase two telophase one and telophase two it is a more complex uh, cell division and that i will discuss it in the later lectures and it gives you haploid number of chromosomes in each of the daughter cells like the parent cell would have 46 chromosomes in it when it would end up with the first telophase one. It will give you haplo uh, diploid number again, but then when it will finally form four daughter cells, it will have haploid number of cells. Means you have 23 chromosomes in it, 23 chromosomes in it, 23 chromosomes in the other daughter cell and in the other daughter cells. Now the question is, why do we have diploid number of cells? This is why, uh, this is because so that the reproduction can take place. When you have haploid number of chromosomes from your mother's side, that is the oocytes, the ovum, and you have 
deploy the number of cells from your father as a spermatogor and spermatocytes, and then they will combine together. They will form 46 of the chromosomes and they would form zygote. Zygote will further divide again and again. There would be a cell division taking place and it would form into a fetus that we will discuss on later. And meiosis also in uh, very depth we will discuss in the later lectures. The difference between mitosis and meiosis, mitosis takes place in somatic cells, as I've told you, in all of the body cells, but the meiosis takes place in the gametes, in the reproductive cells only. The mitosis cells have cellular division cycle that is of uh, like, it have a one sequence cycle, uh, one uh, cycle is taking place. It have one paraphase, one metaphase, one anaphase, and one telophase. Whereas in meiosis, there are two sequences taking place. First, there must be prophase one, prophase, uh, telophase one, uh, anaphase one, metaphase one, telophase one. Then again, it would be having paraphase, uh, paraphase two, metaphase two, telophase, uh, anaphase two, and telophase two. So it have two cycles taking place to make out four daughter cells for you. Mitosis is usually done in your normal body cells and it is not so complicated, but why do we need mitosis? Because every of your body cell have a special uh, lifespan. After this, it have to eventually die. And before dying, it have to replicate so that your body functions normally. So it is needed for your growth, for your repair, and uh, whereas meiosis is need for the reproductive cells because it have haploid number of chromosomes. Mitosis have no variation in chromosomes. They have 46 number of chromosomes in their daughter cells as well. But in meiosis, the variation of the chromosome is also available. Like you do not look like your siblings. Why is that so? Because you have the features of both of your mother and father but yet different from your sisters or brothers so these uh, this is because of the meiosis the uh, haploid number of the chromosomes and the variation that it have mitosis have no genetic variation whereas meiosis carry the genetic variation there are a lot of diseases which are inherited by your parents or ancestors but due to the meiosis it's not that if i have some disease all of my offspring would have it but because of meiosis genotype and all phenotype the variation can occur or the severity of the disease may hinder or may differ. Now, what happened to uh, the parent cell? Parent cell reached its to the optimum age. As I've told you, the parent cell is a maturity of the and after that, it's a work that is done. But the work that is done, they have to divide themselves so that the body keeps running, the body keeps growing, and the repair is taking place. So the parent cell have to die to the process apoptosis. Apoptosis is a programmed cell death, like you have organelles in your cells, and lysosome is the organelle that is responsible to give out digestive enzyme that starts to eat up your cell all over. This process is known as apoptosis. If the cells do not die in the particular lifespan, it would be unjust to your body, and uh, that cell will eventually divide more vigorously than the normal cell and the daughter cells that it would produce will divide more and more and would lead to cancers. Which I think would be the interesting fact to you that why the cell have to die and why do we need its replacement? And if it does not die, it may lead to cancer. So assistant for my students, well, it's really basic as it was a demo session. I do not want to go into really good details, but in the end of the lecture, you should know mitosis make genetical variation. Is the statement true or false? According to me, it's false. The deploy number of human cells have 
48 chromosomes. Um, I remember I told you it's 46. So this statement is also false. In order to cell divide, DNA must replicate first. Obviously, if in the interface, you can see the thread-like structures, the chromosome getting apart, the DNA replicating itself. So the statement is true again. Meiosis produce full daughter cells. That's true again. Mitosis is the process which gives you haploid number of chromosomes in each cell, like 46 chromosomes in each cell, and divide into two daughter cells. As I go to have a haploid number of cells, I'm really sorry, I have typed haploid, haploid again. No, that's false. Zygote, as I've told you, the ovum and the sperm would combine together to give you a zygote. And that zygote chromosome are now diploid because the sperm itself have 23 chromosomes and the ova itself have 23 chromosomes. When they will combine together, they will give out 46 chromosomes and the zygote will replicate again and again and again and would form a beautiful fetus. That's it for my lecture today. If you have any queries, please contact us on baleen.com. And if you want to study with me, you are most than welcome. And like my video and share it to your friends. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.